It's Wednesday, October 30th, 2019. Market is going to open up here in just a couple of minutes. And uh, I'm going to trade the YM again today. And uh, I will be back shortly. Actually, you know, I'm not going to take the opening trade. I am going to wait for the lines to form and I'll start playing the lines. I'll come back. Big move down here right at the open. Made a nice drop. I'm not going to play it. Just going to play the um, the lines. But you know, today is the sort of day where it looks good to, to play it uh, right when it opens here. I'll come back. Yeah, I think it's going to go down. It's, I think it's going to give a short signal here. I'm going to go for it. It's uh, the low. If it hits 10, it's a short signal. This is a little bit risky. About a 30 tick stop. But if it's going to drop out here, you want to be in it. And right now, mathematically speaking, there is a relatively good chance it's getting ready to drop out. I mean, maybe not completely drop out, but go down good today. Okay, not getting the signal here. Okay, I will come back. Okay, here it comes. If it hits 10, I'm going in. It's got all the characteristics of a good, good day today going down. This is what they look like right here. 12, 20 contracts at market, ready to go, again it's a bit risky but I'm going to go for it, there's days to go for it, that's 11, and days to not, there it is, okay to chase it right there, chase it at market, now we'll see if I'm right. Is it going to drop down good today? We'll find out. It's risky though, because if it doesn't do it, and I'm wrong, it'll go all the way back up and get my stock. But uh, if I'm right, I could easily have 100 tick, possibly even 200 ticks here on this one entry. So it's it's a it's a risk. It's like a somewhat of a gamble, but. Again, remember what I said, this, it, it's acting like what it does when it does go down really good. This is exactly what it acts like. So, when it looks good like that, those are the times to risk it. Now you're not getting crazy in your, in your trading. You're going after what you think is the math. You know, you... Th you see it look good. You see it looks like it really wants to drop down. Give it, give it a, uh, a short signal. You take it. Now you're in. Now it goes down. Doesn't mean it will continue to go down, but uh, so far so good. You know, I think one of the most important things to focus on when you're a trader is to, you know, I think I'm sure you've heard like the metaphor, be like water. Meaning that water will take, will go in whatever direction it can go in. It doesn't have to go in one direction. It can go whatever way it needs to go. And um, that's what you need to do. You need to be like water where you can go in any direction. You could go, you ever heard of the, the saying, go with the flow? That's what you need to learn to do with it as a trader. Go with the flow. Don't try to fight it. Try to feel it, see what it's doing, and go with it. Now, right now, I'm using my system to take an entry. But right now, at the same time, I'm still feeling it. What is it doing? Is it going up, up, up? Just keep going up? Or is it going down? down, down, and just keeps going down. 
So that's a big difference between the two. Then you have something in the middle where it goes up and down. Then you have even worse where it goes up and down really bad where it just chop, 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 chop. As soon as you think it's going to go down, it goes back, back up. As soon as you think it's going to go up, it goes right back down. Just keep doing that over and over again. You know what we call chop. And uh, so you kind of have to feel what the market is doing. You know, what does it feel like? And not just that, what does it look like? You know, you look at the chart, what does it look like? You know, what does it look like right now? Well, it looks like it's been going, you know, sideways for quite a bit, and all of a sudden, boom, now it seems to just want to go down. Could be a big day down. Could be a really big day down. From here, what we do is use my system and follow it along. This is not the kind of day starting off so far, though, to back off and try to get a, take some profit. This is the kind of day to roll the dice and see how far it's going to go. At the same time, use the system. The system says it's going to go down, you stay in it going down. The system says it's going to go up, you get back out. And even go up. But right now, it looks very, very good. I'm currently up 2900 I intend to uh, hold it to see if it isn't going to be what I thought it looked like at the very beginning, which is a good day down. 100 200 even 300, 400, 700 ticks down. You know, you can't tell the difference between the days. How I could tell is all the see how it's doing this right here. We just keep going, keep going, keep going. Doesn't want to stop. Bounces a little bit, just keeps on going. Those are your big, big days. Uh, what it looks like on the chart right there, five minute chart looks very good it's already broken below this low here at least it looks like it has and uh, this low here and even this low here it's getting close to breaking that one so it's it's breaking through everything that's on the chart for the last couple days you know who knows where it's going it's going to fill the gap down here come all the way down look at a little bit bigger perspective you know it's been chopping up and down Nice big gap up, coming back down. See, that's how they get so many people. They, they they think that, you know, it looks so bullish and it goes up. And they think, oh, it's time to jump on the bandwagon, you know. Don't want to miss it. Only to watch it go back down. And it's just like these people, you know, they, they're riding it down, riding it down. They've been coming down for so long. And they ride it down, ride it down, ride it down. They finally just say, you know what, I'm not going to ride it down anymore. I'm selling. I'm out. Only to sit there and watch it go right back up again. And then they get back up here and they go and buy again. Only to watch it go right back down again. You know? And then people wonder, why do so many people lose money at trading? Well, just imagine if you did the exact opposite. Every time it started shooting up, you went short. Every time it went down, you, you bought. Now, you need to have a little bit more skill than just that. But as a general rule, that is actually what works. But you need to have some experience. And if you have my system, you can actually take some of that experience, that chart trading experience, and apply it and really make a lot of money. Anyway, uh, chart. what does the chart look like? It looks very good. We have a good possibility here of getting a big trade. Now, does that mean we're going to get a big trade? No, it does not. It just means the chances are pretty good right now. But don't ever think that they're, those chances could turn in a, in a, on a dime. They could turn in a second. And all of a sudden, it just starts shooting up. So be like water. Go with the flow. And don't like, for instance, I'm going for it here. If it comes back up to my entry and even above, it's just okay. That's all right. I'm not going to get out until my stop would get me out. I'm going to get out manually, but I know where my stop will be. And so, otherwise, I'm going for it. I'm going for it because when you see this kind of action, 
watch for a continuation of it. Now this action here is actually a continuation of this one, which was yesterday that I was in. Got an entry, it shot down, I got out, it went back up. This is like a continuation of that move. And so we could get a bigger move here coming down, even for the next couple of days, perhaps. This could actually be a hold here for a, a, a swing trade, as I did uh, earlier. Made a really big trade on the YM. This is another opportunity for another possible big trade. But before I'd want to go over something like that, I'd want it to come down quite a bit and get me out ahead at least 100 ticks. And then I would be possibly willing to go for it. But it depends what my system says, you know. Like if my system gives a short entry right before the close and it goes down a bit, it'd be perfect. I'd definitely want to go for it. It could gap down very easily. Vice versa, if it had been going up and it closes, that's not so good. Closing strong is not so good if you want it to come down. You want it to close weak. And it'll have a tendency to gap down for you. Right now I do have a long signal in place, but I'm not going to pay any attention to it. It's just a scalping uh, trade. Scalping signal. Generally not good for a whole lot. And uh, hoping to get one to go back the other way and go back short again. But it may come up a bit before it does that. Maybe up to 20. And then come all the way back down again. See, that's typical. Typical. Unless you know that, you can get burned. Because, you know, as soon as it's going up, you, you want to get out. As soon as it's going down, you want to get in. You know, and you keep going on the wrong side of the trade. Or it comes back up, then you get back out, and you don't hardly make anything because you want to protect it, not realizing the math is that it's going to turn back over and come back down again. Why? Because of the move it just made. The big move is like a, a clue that it's going to go even more. But it didn't do it yesterday, though, did it? It went down really good, and then just worked its way back up. And it came down slowly, but never uh, beyond that point. It only went beyond that point here today, this morning, first thing. Comes down, goes beyond that point, goes lower than that low. So this move is like a continuation of this move on the chart. And then, looking at, at a bigger picture, going back to October 16th, 17th, 18th, 20th, and coming up to our current date, it could come down a bit. It could come down here to... 26,900, nice 100 tick move down, and then it could go for more. You know, you never know, it might slide out a bit. Like we could look at it under a bigger, well, I can't really zoom out anymore from here, but, uh, you know, it could easily come down another 100, even 200, 300 ticks down. So, I love the market when it moves down because it can really move down good, fast, and quickly. Uh, making for good uh, day trading uh, plays, you know. Okay, still waiting for it to do something. I will come back. Okay, we have our first uh, two lines. Here's the top line, and here's the bottom line. Big, big range, uh, 80 ticks on the range from the high to the low. So, uh, not exactly what you would want to take as a general rule. Wouldn't want to take uh, this entry whether it goes short or long because the stop is too big but um, I mean most likely I'm not going to have to because what it'll do is it'll create another two lines inside these two lines and then that'll go long or short and I'll take that one and then the next one I'll also take and uh, we'll see where we are hopefully it's going to be down because if it's down we could go down a lot if it's up I don't really know how far up it might go, but uh, down it would go down really good. Anyway, I'm going to wait for one of the lines to get broken, and I will come back, holding my position short here. And look at it move up right here. It's making a classic move right now before it comes back down again. After you've seen that as many times as I have, you'll, you'll be able to see it very easily. I'm just talking about what it'll do most of the time, not all the time. 
But this is a special trait because of this radical move down it made. A continuation of this radical move down. It's most likely going to go down, break below this low, and go much lower today. And this is a common thing for it to do. That after it had gone down really big, comes back up, bounces up halfway between the high and the low, and then comes back down again, breaking below this low, and keep on going. I'll come back. I wasn't there to see it, but there was this radical move down. I just came over, glanced at the computer, and saw it. All right, let me take a look at this. Boy, that is one radical move. I'm not really sure what to make of that. I am going to hold it short here. Yeah, I'm going to hold it short. And go with my original plan. That thing shut down all the way to 940 from... 60 tick move down. Even a 70 tick move down. Yeah, it's a pretty good move. Yeah, I'm going to hold it here coming down. Uh, this still has the big potential to be a very big day coming down here. And this was the first clue yesterday. This was the second clue today. This is the third clue. Radical move down, followed by what looked like could be a move back up, but is not so far. It's a move down. If it continues to come down and breaks below this low, we're looking at a big day today coming down. It looked like that from the very beginning. It's still looking like it now. If that doesn't happen, what should happen then is it'll come up and break below uh, above this high and be just the exact opposite, be a big day going up. But I'm going to go with the big day moving down today because of this move and this move. Two precursors to an even bigger move coming down. This move, same thing. It's like a big fake. It fakes like it went down, like it wants to go back up now, only to come back down and then go down big. So, we'll see. But no matter what happens, I have a plan for it. So I don't care if I'm, I really don't care if I'm right or wrong any more than the sense that it's just all about making money. And uh, so I'm just going by that alone. In other words, I don't care if it goes up or down. I'm just going to go with what I think the math is. And I think the math is to go down because of this move, this move, and then this move. Now I can look at my system for a signal. I don't have one yet. And I'm also going to get two more lines, which we don't have yet, to help guide me along to what it's going to do. I don't have to guess at it. So anyway, um, it's going to take a while here, so I will come back. But you know, if I saw that, I don't know if I had time to get out. I probably would have. That was a big move down. It, I'd be up quite a bit down there. Yeah, it moved down to here before and I was up good 3,000 I'd be up about about 8,000 or so I think down there not sure if I had time to exit though anyway I will come back now down 1,100 1,300 for the day I'll come back okay, it's going up on me I'm hoping it's going to generate two lines before it breaks the high there or I'm going to have to let it go and uh, wait for two lines to come. Yeah, Technically, that would be the right thing to do anyway, because it already broke one way, making it no good. Now we take the, the loss at the stop, which I'll be getting out if the price hits uh, 47. Yep. 
the price hits 47 I'm going to get out for a loss and I'm looking for two new lines to be generated I will come right back okay I've got those two lines here's a top line here's a bottom line huge range even bigger range than the first one so this thing is really really moving now let me see here if it were to hit 45 it would technically be a long signal and the other one would go long at 47 so the right next to each other I could just wait for the 47 to hit instead of the 45 two extra ticks and then as far as the down one we have to go by the most recent one not by this one so uh, well technically this one is still in it still has it it's not not good yet just because it's gone back up doesn't mean it's not good If it comes all the way back down it's going to be good it's already triggered triggered a short signal and then went down you know about but only for a second now it's got to keep coming down in order for it to be good but it very well may be good and then this one also get broken short and it also be good so it would be a huge move down if it does that obviously or it'll break higher and hit the 47 making both of these long signals or actually just one of them one of them will be a long signal one was already a short good for a little bit and then the other one would be a long anyway I'm still in the trade short and won't get out unless the price hits 47 and I'll take a loss right there actually I would already reverse position no I'll reverse position at that point I'll go the other direction anyway I'll come back I do have a uh, short signal to go down here okay we've got our two new lines here. Here's the top line here's the bottom line and let's see it will go short if the price hits 27,000 exactly so zero zero the price hits zero zero it's a short signal and if it does I'm gonna go in with an extra 10 contracts looking for it to hit zero zero to take 10 more contracts short I believe this could be a big trade coming down here okay I'll come right back okay it's heading for the bottom here zero zero gonna take it 10 more contracts short Okay, bouncing back up a little bit I'll come back okay if it hits 27 it's a long signal I'm gonna take it long to readjust this to my position 27 I take it long just hit 23 now in order to take this long I'm gonna to have to buy twice buy to get out of my 20 shares short 20 contracts short and then buy again to get a new position going long uh, there it goes coming back down again anyway I'll come back okay it's getting close to 27 I take it long at 27 24 popping back around come back and there's 25 27 take it long okay it's come all the way back down now 05 at 00, zero I go short 10 more contracts 06 I think it's going to do it here it's come all the way back down relatively quickly 05 okay what's the bounce again I'll come back okay here it goes 03 
go to I think it's going to go down here. I think it's going to go down fairly big too. That's why I'm going to take 10 more contracts short. But only once I get the signal. Okay, 05 right now. I'll come back. Okay, here it goes. 02. It's going to go this time. Or is it? 03. Looking for zero zero. O two. Oh come on, stop jumping around. Oh brother. Okay, I will come back. Okay, here we go, here we go. O two. This thing sure is playing a little game, isn't it? Alright, come on, let's do it. O one. One tick away. Oh, one. Come on. There it is. Okay. I've got 30 contracts short here. Go for a big trade here. Okay, currently up uh, 1,200. 1,500. Okay, I'm going to hold this for a bit, coming down, figure down to about at least 960, possibly more. Depends how fast it gets down there. Up 1,800 here. 2,200. I will come back. Getting closer to the exit here of uh, 960, or I should say the target of 960. Currently up 3700 right now. And we're going to get two more lines, and we can play those two lines. But that one also breaks short. It's going to continue to go down. So we can actually hold it. Uh, if it just continues to go down and, and breaks below this low, for instance, we can just hold it all the way using my system. Anyway, I will come back. Okay, we've got our two new lines. Here's the top line, bottom line. And uh, just going to wait until it breaks one of the two lines. Obviously, I want to break the bottom line here because I'm already in a short position. If this one goes short as well, it will come down really nice. Make a good trade today. If, however, it breaks the top one, I'm going to have to get out and go long. And uh, I would basically be uh, a little bit down if I got out. In other words, this whole entire profit would be gone. I'd probably go down about 400 or so. So I'd be negative 400 instead of up. Actually, I'm only up 1,300, 1,400 right now. But uh, not an easy day to make money today because the... The initial ranges were so huge, and uh, but still a good chance to make money, uh, you know, relatively soon, within an hour or two. Hopefully it's going to come crashing down. Anyway, I will come back. 005, it's a long signal. I'm going to take it going the other way if it hits 005. It just hit 003 just now. But could be just like last time, it hit up here, came two ticks away from being a long signal, and then came all the way down. It might do the same thing. Go up, it made like uh, two ticks away, and it might come all the way back down, and then go drop below again. And it's on its way doing it now. Anyway, I'll come back. Okay, 005, i got to take this long. Oh, 03 there it is oops I just made a mistake I didn't mean to go in with 30 too late all right I'll take 30 
All right. Um, I'm not really sure what it's going to do right here. In a little bit of a precarious position, but it may shoot up. It may use this here as the bottom and shoot up from there. So it may be going up, not down. Um, I am going to play this way a little bit on the conservative side, though. So if it moves up a bit, gives me a nice little profit, I'm going to take it. I'll come back. Okay, I just uh, got out of my position. I am now down 326 for the day, and I have two new lines. Here's the top line. Here's the bottom line. Whichever way it breaks, I'm going to take it. And uh, so now I'm just going to wait to see which way it's going to break. And uh, as soon as it gets close, I'll come back and I'll take the trade. I think it's probably going to go all the way down and break below the slow and then keep on going, but we will see. Whichever way it breaks, I'll take it. Okay, if it hits 14, I take it long. 11, 13. Really close to breaking the top here. 12. Hits 14. I take it long. Hit double top so far. Okay, I'll come back. Here's 13. There it is. Okay, going in with 20 contracts this time instead of 30. 20 contracts long. Okay, I'm going to ride this up for a bit. I'll come back. Okay, YM moving up a bit here. Currently ahead 1,100 now, 1,200. And I'm uh, going to hold it here for a little bit. I'll come back. Currently up uh, 1,700, 1,800 looking for a signal. Okay, it's, it's a long signal here. Up 1,900. I would say target on this thing is about 50 or so if we could get it up there. Possibly even 60. I'll come back. Okay, if it hits 28, it's an offset entry to go short. So what I'm going to do is get out of the trade. Twenty-eight. If it hits 28, I'm going to sell 20 contracts. And get out. Otherwise, giving it a chance to keep going here. And I could go short if I wanted to. But I'm not playing. I'm not using that system. I'm using the lines that you're seeing. I'm just using that system for an exit. Okay, 31. There's 30. It's 28. I'm going to jump out. Okay, going up for now. I'll come back. Okay, just hit 30 right there. I'm ready to get out. If it hits 28, I'm going to jump out here. 20 contracts. Protect what profits I do have. 30. 29. 28. Jumping out. All right, 992. Can't get anywhere today. I could go short here if I wanted to. It's a pretty good chance it's going to come down. Okay, so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to wait for two more lines. When I get them, I'm going to take take them, take the break. And hopefully, since it hasn't moved at all yet, I'm going to be able to hit a big trade off of these next two lines. We'll see. I'll come back. Okay, I wasn't watching again. This thing just shot way up. What are we at? What are we at? You know what? I am going to go short on this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go short on it. Okay. Let me see here. Shot way up to 55. Yeah, I'm going to go short. Let's take it short right here. Okay. 
okay, I've got 20 contracts short on this. It's going to come down here real nice. Okay, um, we're going to get two lines, and I'll come back as soon as I've got them. Okay, we've got our two new lines. Here's our top one right there. I can get my mouse on it, and the bottom one right there. And uh, whichever way it breaks, I'm going to go ahead and take it. But if it breaks the bottom one, I'm already short, so I'm just going to hold it short. And that's the way I think it'll go. I think it'll break the bottom one. And uh, Or if it breaks the top one, I will turn around and take a long position, get out of my short position. So, anyway, I will be back. Okay, we have our new set of lines. Here's the top line, and here's the bottom line. And whichever way it breaks, I'm going to go with it. Hopefully it's going to break short and go down a bit. This is going to be my last trade here. I'm currently up uh, 1900 on it, and just getting tired. It's uh, 12.23 in the morning to me. So, uh, looking to uh, exit out of here. I haven't been able to make much today at all because the ranges were so big using my system I just was not unable to uh, get anything really so anyway I'll come back shortly K25 is a short signal that just came just now confirming that yep it's touch 25 so it's a short signal right there so it should come down a little bit I'm not gonna hold it for very much longer though only because I'm getting tired so I'm gonna take uh, I've got like 2300 right now when it gets to about 3000 or so I'm gonna jump out call it a night maybe a little bit more if it drops down real good here I can get a little bit more but uh, I'm looking to get out here real soon okay, it's starting to come down a bit I'm, I'm up uh, 3100 right now looking to get out here Give it a chance to come down a little bit more. I'll come right back. Okay, this thing is really going slow. I'm really looking to get out here. Going very slow on me though. It's uh it's lunchtime. New York time. It's lunchtime. If you just get it to move down a little bit more, I'm ready to jump out. Okay, it keeps wanting to pop back up. Okay, I'm just going to give it a few more minutes and I'm going to jump out. Okay, looking for a signal. Okay, it's a short signal. Got a short signal. Looking to write it down here a little bit. Maybe 10 ticks or so and I'll get out. Up 3,300. is moving slow you know what I'm just gonna jump out okay I am out three thousand dollars today that's the best I could do because it just uh, it's it's kind of tight and uh, just not able to put it together and, and make much from it today but anyway um, there's always tomorrow so I'll be back tomorrow to do some more trading and I uh, hope all of you traders are doing well I mean, it's not a not a good day but I wouldn't say it's a bad day either uh, see all of them work this one worked came down this one worked went up this one worked went up this one well, this we need to get the signal until after this one, and this one has worked. It's gone down, so all working. But uh, anyway, I will be back tomorrow for some more trading. See you then.